All right, a couple of uh, New York political stories. You are looking now at the new speaker of the city council and uh, her name, Melissa Mark Viverito. And Dominic, um, significant, she's a progressive, um, and she was who the new mayor wanted here, Bill de Blasio, but it's not who necessarily the governor reportedly wanted. In the first tug of war, victory won here goes at least to the mayor. Well, it was a, a 51 to zero vote. She got the job. She made history the first Latino speaker of, uh, of New York City, but it is a major victory, perhaps more for the mayor than it is for her, because that's who Bill de Blasio wanted. But the problem is you have a far left mayor, if you will. You have a far left speaker, if you will. So what is that going to mean for the city of New York? And what is that going to mean for Governor Cuomo, who's got to mm. deal with these far-left politicians? It will make it easier, though, for him to get his agenda passed, at least through the city council, correct? Oh, of course. That's yeah. why he wanted her. But the problem is what happens with the state. Yeah, when it gets up to Albany, it might hit uh, a brick wall. Um, Andrew, uh, we, we also got news today that uh, this will be the last term for Carolyn McCarthy. And um, fascinating political biography. Uh, she came to office through tragedy. Her husband and her son, victims of the LIRR shooting uh, 20 years ago. And she really crafted a, a real place for herself. And she became the voice here of gun control in Congress well before even the Gaffey Gifford shooting. Yeah, gun control, advocates, gun control advocates have really, are really losing somebody uh, with, the, with the retirement of Congresswoman McCarthy. And not only was she a, a leading voice in calling for gun control, but was not afraid to use her personal story as part of that argument. I remember last State of the Union right. talking to her after uh, President Obama was calling for a vote for Newtown and a vote for, for, you, you, uh, a vote for Aurora and a vote for Columbine. And I asked her if she wanted to vote for her, and she was like, absolutely. I, I felt that in that room that night uh, as well. So uh, it's, it's definitely mm. a loss for the movement for, for gun control. And she's also battling uh, lung cancer. She's yeah. been open about that, so we wish her a, a speedy recovery. This will be the last term, and we'll start hearing some names here about people already um, looking uh, to fill that congressional seat on the island. All right, everyone, we're going to wrap things up right after this. Please stay with us.